today's video, I'll be buying the best player from each nation that's decided by this wheel, and it could land on anything. But in order for me to get the best player, I have to guess one question correct about that country that's decided by this wheel, and I need to guess the capital city of Germany. I actually know this because in 2018, I went to Germany and I went to Berlin, and I'm 99% sure Berlin is the capital of Germany. I told you it was Berlin. This is a great start because some of the countries on the wheel have terrible players and I need to build the strongest team because once I've built the team, I'll be playing a game and any player under a 6.5 match rating will be getting discarded. Second spin, we got lucky with Germany. I don't think we're going to get lucky on the second one. Norway? Maybe Erlen Hardened? The question is going to be a celebrity from Norway. That's not a footballer. Oh. This is so tough. This one is not as easy as Germany, but I have two names that come to mind. I might be wrong on one. The first one is Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. He's a manager now, so maybe that counts. But my second one is, I think it's Magnus. Mag he's a chess player. It's all over my TikTok. I think he's from Norway. I might be wrong. So I'm going to go with Magnus Colson because Solskjaer was a footballer, so that doesn't count. He's all Norwegian. <laughs> What a guess. He's all over my TikTok just playing chess. And I don't even play chess. Haaland is the best player. He's a 94 rated and he's going to cost me 840,000 coins. Him and Gerdman are up top though. Not a bad partnership. I need a midfielder. I need some defenders. I need a goalkeeper. We really have Haaland and Muller in the team. So Argentina. Oh, please. Do you know what? If it's a celebrity from Argentina, I don't think I'll get it. Oh. The capital city of Argentina. You know this. Surely. I don't know this. Oh. I don't have the answer. So I'm going to have a guess. And it might sound stupid. I'm going to go with Cruz Azul. It's going to be wrong. And the problem is, if I get it wrong, there's no Messi. There's no Enzo Fernandez. I have to get the lowest rated. Buenos Aires. Oh, no. Messi, Zanetti, he would have been perfect as well. But instead, I've got to go with the lowest. Gaitan. 57 rated midfielder. That's not good. I need to redeem myself. That was really bad. Buenos Aires. Obviously, it's the capital of Argentina. But the next one is going to be Japan. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I'm confident. Now, what I need to do is get the question correct. I just hope it's the capital city. Oh, the national dish in Japan. My guess is sushi. I don't know what else it could be. Curry rice. No, no, no. I would never have guessed that even if I had 100 attempts. It even says sushi's here. Japan's most internationally famous dish is sushi. So Google's like to me so i'm gonna go and get the best player i actually don't know who the best japan player is on the game maybe in the k to the hero but other than that i'm not sure oh a 91 rated player and i need that because the player next to her is a 57 rated bronze 750 000 coins for sour welcome to the team sushi was the correct answer i don't want to hear anything in the comments next up is going to be brazil we have got so lucky with the flags please give me the capital city i think i know quite a few of these it's gonna be capital city oh Let's go! It's Sao Paulo. Huh? I have no words. I was so confident it was Sao Paulo. Oh, no. There's no R9 anymore. There's no Pele. Honestly, I'm so shocked. This is going to hurt my team a lot. A bronze Brazil. A 51 rated. I need to bounce back from that. Come on. We pick ourselves up. We go again. We get one wrong. We get the next one correct. Serbia. If this was a video of guessing the flags, I would have the best 11 on the game. This one might be a little bit tricky, but I'm going to try my best. We need to bounce back. I still can't believe we guessed Brazil wrong. A celebrity from Serbia. My only guess, and I'm sure it's from Serbia. I don't watch too much tennis, but I know of Novak Djokovic. So my guess is Novak Djokovic. There we go. Nice and easy. Let's see who the best player is. I need a defender, so I'm going to get Vidic. 91 defending, 90 physical. What an absolute beast. I just realized the ATA rated Vidic was an SBC and it's no longer available on the game. So I'm just going to buy the 87 because it's basically the same card. If you are enjoying the video, drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it. The next flag is Austria. And the best player that comes to mind on the game is Alaba. I'll be honest, there's a high possibility I'm going to get this incorrect. The national dish of Austria. How would I know the national dish of Austria? I don't know. I don't know what to guess. So I'm just going to go with something like a kebab. Like the one on the, the, the stick. If I, if I somehow get this correct and I get the best player from Austria in my team, I will be amazed. Vienna Schnitzel. How am I going to get that? I've never heard of that in my life. It's made of a layer of thin bread along with a pan-fried a veal cutlet. That's like fish and chips you'd have in England. We have missed out on Alaba. 88 rated as well. He looks so good. But instead, we have a 52 rated bronze. 66 pace. 
This next spin has to be kind to me, and England would be perfect. Oh, Spain. You've got Cassias, you've got Raul Fernando Torres. I need to not get ahead of myself, though, because I need to I need to get the question correct. Please, capital city is Madrid. National dish is paella. I'm already ahead of it. National dish of Spain. Please do not make me look silly. Paella, let's go. The question is, though, who is the highest rated player for Spain on the game? Yes, yes. That is perfect. I already got him in the club. I might have some paella tonight after that. I might celebrate. Could you imagine a back-to-back -back top country? Give me a Belgium. Portugal? <gasps> Give me Portugal. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way. <gasps> no! VAR, nah. That is on the line. This has gone from really easy to just <laughs> really tough. I don't think this one's going to be as easy as uh, Poyella for Spain. Let's just say that. It's going to be the most played sport or a celebrity. It's going to be the most played sport. It has to be football. They actually have quite a good national team. I remember the World Cup. They had like Hamas Rodriguez. I think they had Falcao. Gary Mina. Football knowledge is unmatched. Ooh, Luis Diaz. 525,000 coins. The problem is, though, he's a left mid and we have a player currently in his spot. We'll put Diaz there and the bronze can stay as the left back for now. Two more guesses to go. I just want the biggest countries, the best players in my team. They're hungry. I really want Puskas. I need I need him. It's not about want. I need him. Capital C of Hungary. That's Budapest, right? Budapest! Puskas in the team. Um, you're not playing right back. Not a chance. I need you further upfield, but you can go right mid. Last one to go, and I'm hoping it's a good country with a centre back that's good, because... We, we need a centre-back. Last spin of the wheel. Can we get a country that has a very good centre-back? I don't know if that's Cameroon or Senegal. It's Senegal. And I'm sure Kudabali's from Senegal. We might have just found our centre-back that we've been looking for. Most played sport is what we want. Or maybe a celebrity. I think I have one, but I'm not 100% confident on that. It's actually going to land on celebrity. All right, there we go. I'm testing my knowledge now. I used to listen to this person all the time when I was younger. This is all or nothing for Kudabali. My guess for the celebrity from Senegal is Akon. Ooh, so it says it's from St. Louis in USA. However, Akon's early childhood was in Senegal. I'm taking that. I need a centre-back next to Vidic, so I'm going to go get Koulibaly. 48,000 coins. It's actually quite cheap. And that's the final team. I don't think I've done too bad. Out of 11 guesses, I've got three incorrect. Brazil, Argentina, and Austria. But it's starting to head into that game now when any player who gets under a 6.5 match rating is getting discarded. Oh, Bremer, Schneider, Haaland as well. As long as no one gets under a 6.5 match rating, we're okay. I'm going to play this one short. Sure. I think Muller has good finesse shots, so I'm going to try it. Edge of the box, Muller. <laughs> Let's go. Three. What a goal. Come on. Sowers there. Give it the ball. Finesse shot. Let's go. Let's go. 2-0. Two, Two finesse shots as well. They are so good. Come on, Haaland. Take him on. Oh, come on for the third. Haaland. Keeper dropped. Shoot! No, Bremer. What are you doing? Get out of my way. I have another corner, so I'm going to go for another finesse shot. Because it's worked two times already. Puskas, edge of the box. Take him on. Let's go. Go for the finesse shot. That's he gone in. Oh, wow. That's three finesse shots now. No, don't let him shoot. Don't let him shoot. No. The problem is now Cassius has conceded his match rating's going to go down, which means I might have to discard him, but that's not good. This is the moment of truth. Who do I have to discard? Hopefully no one. Harlan, no. Sauer, Puskas, no. I have to discard Cassias. He conceded one goal and he got a 6.2 match rating. Thankfully, no one else, but I have to get rid of Cassias. And he's like 500,000 coins. And that's it. Cassias has been discarded. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and give this video a watch because I think you'll like it.